but I do need to chill on the straight leg trousers. That's like something that I will fully admit to everybody, including my mom. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, I'm so happy to have you. You guys have been asking for a haul video on my channel for a while now, and I haven't done one in a really long time. So we're doing one huge one. This is probably one of the biggest ones on my channel yet. So get excited for that. If you guys don't already subscribe and you like fashion and lifestyle videos, then make sure you click that button right down below. And so today we're just gonna get right into it with everything that we have here. As you can see, I'm still dressed in my winter clothes because it's still freezing. Today's gonna be like the last freezing day that we have in New York City. So hopefully next week, the weather is going to warm up. It should be like in the high 50s slash 60s, which is going to be amazing. But for now, I'm dressed in a little shacket. But the rest of this stuff is going to get me very excited to start dressing for spring. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know that spring and summer fashion was never my thing. I was more of like a fall, winter kind of style girl because, I don't know, I think I just found it easier to be like a neutral, classic, like capsule wardrobe type of person in the winter because you have all this layering and all these basics. And then in the summer, it's kind of like hard to translate that. But over the past, I would say last season was the first one that I actually started to get really excited about spring and summer fashion. So that is also true for this season. And I have so many good things to show you. I have a bunch from Zara. Then we have H&M, Mango. There's one thing on here from Abercrombie that I picked up yesterday that I wanted to just include in here because it's so good. All right, so the first one we have here is from Zara and it's a cute little feminine top for the springtime. This is like the ultimate date night top to me, but you can also wear this going out with your friends. Um, this is a really nice like daytime going around like really casual top. You could also dress it up if you want to. So it has these really nice puff sleeves on the side, which is such a cute feminine shape for the summer. And then these flowers are little details throughout of it, which I think are so cute. They're like cream petals with a little blue center. So if you want to play around with color in your wardrobe, this is a good way to do it. But to me, this is still going to be like a white blouse that you can style up in so many different ways. For this one, I would probably just wear like straight leg light wash jeans and I have a pair that I'm gonna show you next that I think would look so cute with this one. And it's probably how I'm going to style this up when I go on vacation this week. So the other thing that I loved about this one is that it has this band that goes around your waist and you can see that it kind of creates like a cutout detail on the side and then in the back, there's like the bottom of the shirt and then it's completely open for a couple inches and then you have this band that goes across the back as well. And I thought that that was such a cute detail. It also has a button closure at the back. Just a little warning. We know that Zara is not the best with quality, but I went to go buy this shirt and the elastic on the one that I picked up originally was starting to come off at the seam here. So it just wasn't sewn in correctly. So just whenever you're buying anything from Zara that has this sort of clasp, make sure you check that because I actually had a shirt and it was like my favorite black blouse for the winter time and that exact thing happened where the elastic just snapped off so just a little tip for you and then the jeans that i was talking about so these are from h&m and i saw them in the store they didn't have my size in store so i was like let me just get the size up just in case and i brought them home and they fit perfectly so these are straight leg wash jeans no rips in them I can't really decide if I'm like into the rips or like not really into them because they have the same pair that have one rip in the knee, which were really cute. But I ended up going for the ones that don't have rips just because in terms of versatility, like I can wear these to work, whereas I can't wear the ripped ones to work. And they're both really cool still. So I figured I would just get the ones without the rip. And they just come straight down into this really nice like wide leg jean. They have this effortless like bagginess about them, but because they fit so on the, on the waist, I mean, I need to zipper these up because I've already worn them, but because they fit so well on the waist, there's still like tailoring involved here, so it doesn't look like sloppy. Um, but I love the wash of these. I'm a sucker for a light wash jean in the summer. I think this is my third pair of light wash jeans, but every single style and silhouette is different. So we are justifying it. And I think these are only like $35, which part of me is like, there has to be something wrong with that. Like there's no way they made these ethically if they are $35, but I know I'm gonna get a ton of use out of these. And 
for the price, I think the quality is actually really good. So those are from H&M, if I didn't already say that. Everything's gonna be linked down below and I'll tell you guys which sizes I got of everything. And then moving on to this bodysuit. So a little bit of a backstory with this one. Aritzia has this really flattering cut bodysuit. I think it's part of their Babatone, Babatone line. And this is a dupe for it. So someone tried this on on TikTok. I didn't see the video, but my friend did. And said that the Abercrombie one was actually better. So we have this very plain bodysuit, but it has a thong back, which I love. A lot of Zara's bodysuits actually, and you'll see when I have them later in this haul, don't do a thong back. And I'm like, who is out here wanting VPL? Like to my knowledge, I don't think anyone does, but you know, to each their own. And the shape of this is what I fell in love with. I saw it laying on the table. It wasn't even on a mannequin or anything. And I saw this like very square neckline and I was like, that's gonna be flattering. I know it is. So I ended up picking it up in black, but they have it in gray and I think they have it in white. And I will double check on the website, but I'm sure it probably comes in a bunch of other colors too. But the material of it is super soft. I know the neckline is gonna be very flattering. And something like this, I think is such a nice outfit to just pair with like the light wash jeans that I just showed you guys, where it's just a very clean lined, cool look. And you can throw on like really cool sneakers if you wanna edge it up a little bit. But for me, this is one of those staple pieces that you have to have in your wardrobe. It doesn't have to be this exact black bodysuit, but having an outfit like that, where you could just throw on a pair of jeans and a bodysuit is like the most, it's like the easiest that it can get. So if you struggle with styling and you know having going out outfits and things like that, this is a really good piece to have because then you can also use it for layering in the future if you need to. And then this next sweater I saw it and was like, I need to get that. I had already bought, so I was actually in Milan shopping and I went to H&M first and then I went to Zara and then I saw that they had a mango and I was like, okay, this is too much. But I ended up just walking in there. I was like, let me just take a browse. I already had so much stuff I was carrying like two bags, my purse, a tote bag. And it was a lot, but I just went in and I just did a little scan of the room and saw this sweater. And it reminded me of one that I saw in, in other stories, but that one is $99. Whereas this one, I don't have the tag on it cause I already wore it to work, but this one I think is um, 60. And Mango does really, really good quality knits. So I was like, I know I'm getting the quality of it and it's a lot cheaper than the end of other stories one. So I was very comfortable with buying it. And what I loved about this one is that it has these polka dot detailings throughout. I think that it's like kind of a preppy touch that is normally not very me. But as I've said before on this channel, I get a little bit, not a little bit, I get a lot more like feminine with my style when it comes to like summer and spring fashion. So this is an exact example of that. and this top that I showed you before. Everything just starts to get really girly, really like colors, warm tones, really cute silhouettes. And I thought that this one was gonna be adorable to add into my wardrobe. This one is perfect to wear without a coat as we're going into the warmer weather. And it's also a little bit more lightweight, so you're not gonna be wearing like heavier sweaters anymore. And this is gonna be a really good one to swap out for some of your like heavier knits. Another thing is that this one works really well with a collared shirt underneath it. You can wear it to work or you can dress it down with light wash jeans if you want to. I wore this with black cigarette leg trousers and loafers and it's like the perfect work look. It's like appropriate, but it's so fun and adds a little something extra to it because I don't think that workwear has to be boring. And I think this is a really cute sweater to add to that sort of wardrobe. But then you can also wear it in like a casual setting if you're just running errands. And then this next pair, these are like tugging at my soul. And that's really embarrassing to say about a pair of pants, but I went into the Zara store yesterday. It was freezing outside and it was like sleeting slash raining slash snowing. So we hopped into Zara and I was like, I already saw Zara in Milan. I know I'm not gonna need anything in here. And then I saw these pants and I was like, here we go again. But these are absolutely amazing. The material is honestly what sold me on them because these I think are $89.90. And I just, when Zara gets to those higher price points, I'm like, do you have the nerve to charge that for that? Like, do you, is the quality actually $90 worth? Who knows? The answer is probably not. But I saw these and I was just crazy about them. They're navy. Not enough, it's just like, I love the color navy and I don't really have a lot of navy in my wardrobe. I think I have one sweater and I've been wanting a navy coat and all this stuff. So I think we're fulfilling ourselves in other ways to just add some more navy into my wardrobe. So material, the color, 
the drawstring something that i love about straight leg trousers like most of the time i have to say the brands are doing a really good job with getting the fit right so i don't have any like waist gapping and things like that when it comes to tailored trousers but if you want something to really be tailored to your body a drawstring and like an elasticated waist just gets you there that much sooner and then the other detail that i loved that i just think that makes these look so much more expensive is that they have this little seam at the bottom of them that goes across both sides so it's kind of like if you were to imagine like having piping on a pair of pants like that's where the piping would go but they just have this really simple stitch here and yeah i just think that they look really classy right now i can definitely wear them with a knit sweater like this cream one would look really cute with it or i can do black i can wear them with a white tank in the summertime and sneakers we could dress them up for work or going out you can wear these with heels endless possibilities i mean there's a pair of straight leg trousers at the end of the day and you guys know that i like go on about those forever i might do a straight leg trouser video on my channel because i have so many pairs at this point and i feel like i can't own this many pairs and not do a styling video for you guys so that is in the works but we're going to move on to another one from zara and this is just a white button down shirt and you're probably like you already have one of those from zara in your wardrobe but the one that i have is i think it was i want to say it was 35.90 when i got it and this one when i saw the price tag i was like really it's 45 dollars like what's the difference and then i felt it and i was like okay this material is so much nicer than the other one that i have and there's a fuzz on here um but this one is so much nicer of a material than the other shirt that i have the other one is just so thin and it crinkles so easily so i can keep that for wearing underneath sweaters and stuff like that because it doesn't show the most of the sweater but for this one i wanted to get one that was a little bit higher quality because i want to be able to wear this on its own with like jeans or trousers and not have to worry about it looking crappy basically and this material is so much nicer it's thicker it's softer and the fit of this is really nice too so i got this in a small because it did look a little bit oversized to begin with and i didn't want it to be like huge because i already have my top shop one that is that more like oversized kind of look and this one is just a little bit more tailored but obviously everything in my wardrobe almost is oversized so we had to make sure that it was a little bit baggy um but yeah so the shape of this so much better quality so i was so happy to add this one into my wardrobe and i know i'm gonna get a ton of use out of that and then one last pair of trousers for you guys i don't know why but when i first started wearing like cigarette leg trousers and straight leg trousers i would call myself a zara employee because i don't know if like they wear the same uniforms in every country but in my zara they wear like matching suits and like white tees i don't know what they do in the city i feel like i haven't been paying attention but they definitely have to wear like some sort of tailoring so i always used to be like okay this is my zara employee outfit but i saw these pants and they remind me of a zara employee so they are a straight leg fit as i said before actually i don't know if i told you that they're just straight legs um but really nice long shape I fell in love with the color of these. I just thought that like gray is the perfect shade to be able to wear your tailored trousers into the springtime. I will still wear my black ones and the navy ones, don't get me wrong, but I think that just to brighten it up a little bit, these are a really good option to have. The other thing is that while the other ones are 90, these are, I think they're 50. So I think the price is just a lot better with these and the quality of them I think is very much aligned with that. My trousers I don't think need to be like insanely like nice fabric and stuff like that because i like when they flow a little bit better i think when you have like really thick like nice fabrics it can make them a little bit more rigid and so these were a perfect fit for me i got them in an extra small and the waist fits really well which is something that i always look for in any pair of pants that i buy but you guys can see this like matches what i'm wearing right now i'm gonna throw on probably a sweater with these for now and style them on my instagram today so if I have that picture ready already, I'll just throw it in here. But I will try them on anyway for you guys. And I'm just really excited to wear this color of trousers. It's getting a little bit to the point where I'm like, am I going to end up with like every single neutral pair of trousers like that exist? And my answer is I hope not. But, you know, like I get so much use out of this stuff. I literally wear at least one pair of cigarette leg trousers and one pair of straight leg trousers to work every week. So when I'm like mixing in denim and stuff like that, it just like my pants all get the use out of them. And to be honest, like if I didn't get the use out of them, I would just sell them to someone else. 
So I definitely think these are a good staple to have, whether you get them in this color, black, basically any color you want that's neutral, because <laughs> you guys know how I am. But I just think that they're like a really nice shape and they're flattering on every body type, which is amazing. Like you can wear them at a size zero or you can wear them at a size 16. It doesn't matter. They still look so great on everybody and they just look really chic. And then we have the bodysuit from Zara. And I love, love, love the shape of this neckline. It is so cute and so dainty and so feminine with like this kind of, it's like a V-neck, but it has like a little bit more to it because it kind of comes up here and it looks so nice. The only thing that I'm grappling with is the fact that Abercrombie makes their bodysuits with a thong back and this one is not. So, I mean, I don't really know if this will show through my jeans, so I don't think it'll be that big of a deal, but it's in this lighter knit fabric, so it's still going to be nice and comfortable in the summer. It's not like you're going to sweat in it, but it really creates this rib detail which is so nice and again it's another really simple staple piece but it speaks for itself kind of like you could just put on gold jewelry and light wash jeans with this and call it a day and still look really cute and chic so something that is just really effortless and basic but gives a little bit more of a fun vibe to an outfit with a silhouette and then the last piece that we have here is a blazer and this one i saw in h m and I figured that it was probably their end of stock because for some reason they had ones that had the tag where it was showing like the Euro size. And then there was another one where it was showing like small, medium, large, and they were all the same. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I didn't really know what size to pick up in this one because I wanted it to be oversized, but it was like, the length was still kind of the same on all of them. Like you could maybe get an extra centimeter if you went with like a really large size, but for the most part, the length was the same, but the length on it is perfect after I tried it on. So I just wanted to make sure that it was a little bit boxier because I like my blazers to be more oversized as opposed to being like very slim line. And I went with the, okay, so this is a US medium and it's just a little bit wider than something that's like very tailored on me. And I fell in love with this kind of like woven pattern here. It gives the illusion that it's linen, but it's just like a really nice texture to add into an outfit. Again, this is another piece that kind of like has enough detail to it. We have the scrunched sleeves on the side and then there are little flat pockets in the front here. I think you can cut these. Yeah, you can unstitch them so that they could be real pockets. I don't know that I will though, because I do that on most of my blazers and I end up never using those pockets anyway. So kind of a waste of my time, but it's fine. <laughs> Um, and then it has this really nice cream lining on the inside. Not that you could see the lining, but you know, if there's like a breeze and in the inside of your jacket shows, like we want to make sure it makes sense. We don't want it to be orange, of course. Um, but yeah, so the texture of this really sold me. And then the fit is also super nice too. I love when blazers come right past, like, I wouldn't say it's midway down your thigh because it's a little bit too far, but it's like a little bit past like that part on your hip that's like the widest point. So once it hits like directly past there, that's like my sweet spot for blazers just because I think they look the most flattering that way, unless you're doing like a crop shape or something like that. But we love a long line blazer. This is the perfect neutral color to add into um, a collection of blazers. So if you're someone like me who has like black, olive green, I have a lavender one, I have a light yellow one. I have a white one. Okay, I'm just gonna stop because I'm getting overwhelmed. <laughs> I mean, maybe that means I shouldn't own this blazer, but again, another item in my wardrobe that I get so much use out of. So I can't feel bad about it if I love it this much and I know that I'm going to wear it so, so much. Another thing with this one is that you can dress it down too. So if you wanna wear this too, well, I guess you're technically dressing it up if you're going to dinner, but you can wear like a white bralette underneath it with some light wash jeans again, because I feel like that's the only wash that I wear in the summertime at all. And another thing that would look really cute is if you did like white tailored shorts with it. So many different ways to wear this one. And again, it works for casual wear or for work or for any events and things like that. So tons of wear out of this one. And I mean, it's kind of hard for me when I'm adding in a silhouette, like a blazer that I already know that I love and wear so much because I'm like, I know I'm gonna love it and wear it so much. And so we have to keep it. But I do need to chill on the straight leg trousers. That's like something that I will fully admit to everybody, including my mom. But anyway, those are all of the pieces that I picked up recently to show you guys. I kind of tried to run through them at like a quicker pace because I know you guys will just see them in the cutaways anyway. 
but I love sharing this stuff with you guys and it just like really excites me for the seasons that are coming and I'm hoping that I can start styling these up on my Instagram very soon. If you guys don't follow me over there, it's at Jenna Evangelia and I post outfits every single day. So if you need some inspo, then make sure you go and follow me there. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate your support always and I hope to see you in my next video.